So we'll be using Office of Daily Prayer Noon Setting, page 296. And uh, when we get to the psalm, uh, we'll have Psalm 86 at the front of the hymnal. And for prayers, well, since you're here, I we'll actually do something somewhat responsive with uh, the litany on page 288. So when we come to that point, I'll, I'll be telling you all the page numbers so you don't necessarily have to fumble around. All right. Okay. So I invite you to rise and let's begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God, do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon. I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We continue with Psalm 86. Uh, we'll speak the whole thing together. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am Lord and in you. Reserve my life, for I am godly. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant. For to you, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. In the day of my trouble I call upon you, but you answer me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great in deep of your sins, you alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love toward me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, insolent men have risen up against me. A band of ruthless men seek my life, and they do not set you before me. But you, O oh Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant and save the son of your maidservant. Show me a sign of your favor that those who hate me may see and be put to shame because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please be seated. This one. So going through the New Testament, I am at 3rd John. I'll read the whole book. Oh, That's the short, it's the short one, though, yeah. Um, the elder to the beloved guides, whom I love in the truth. Beloved, I wish in all things that you prospered and fared well, even as your soul prospers. I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you, how you walk in truth. 
I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, you do faithfully whatever you do for the brethren and for strangers, who bear witness of your love before all the congregation. Which brethren, when you bring them forwards on your journey, as it befits God, you will do well, because for his name's sake they went forth and took nothing from the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such brethren, so that we also may be helpers of the truth. I wrote to the congregation, but Theotrophes, who loves to have the preeminence among them, will not receive us. And so, if I come, I will declare the things he does, scoffing on us with malicious words. And he is not content with that. Not only does he himself not receive the brethren, he also forbids those who would and thrusts them out of the congregation. Beloved, do not follow that which is evil, but that which is good. He who does well is of God, but he who does evil does not see God. Demetrius has a good report from all men and from all the truth. Yea, and we ourselves also bear witness. You know that our witness is true. I have many things to write, but I do not wish to write with ink and pen to you, for I trust I will shortly see you, and we shall speak mouth to mouth. Peace be with you. The friend sent you greetings. Greet the friends by name. This is the word of the Lord. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it connects a bit with his other letters. Uh, this is a lot like Second John, where he's talking about walking in truth. And uh, walking in truth, by definition, is walking in Christ. As in the Gospel of John, Jesus, uh, John shows Jesus saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if we are in Christ, we are in his death and resurrection, which also give us life. When John is saying walk in the truth, he's saying walk in Christ, and walk in the message of Christ, which, as he kind of explains the letter, is going out and being with the brethren, because uh, Christ says um, in John chapter 15, love one another as I have loved you. And uh, part of that is bringing them in and, and keeping them in. So when John... Uh, uh, meets up with Diotrephes. Diotrephes. I don't know why I have such a problem with that name. Diotrephes. Uh, he's saying, this guy is, who's, is trying to create divisions, so send him out. So uh, he's not walking in truth because he's the one who's trying to make love exclusive, exclusive between the group, but uh, in John's first letter, he's saying, uh, we know love because God first loved us by sending his son, and that was uh, to the whole world. So if somebody's trying to separate themselves from the world, saying, this is for God, uh, Jesus is for us, not for you, then we have to reject them because well, they have an improper understanding of what God's trying to do. And uh, so even though, so John is urging them to walk in the truth, walking in Christ, walking together, and if that means they have to uh, allow people to separate from themselves, John is basically saying let them go. Because they have to find, they have to uh, receive the love in order to come in. Yeah, church, John is saying some harsh things about church discipline, but bottom line is we who are in Christ are in love, and we are to love one another. So, Love as Christ loved us by loving universally, universally, and be that way with all people. And sometimes love does involve having to tell people I have to step away for a bit. Sad. <laughs> but I think you might know that a little bit better than me. Uh, so we continue with prayer with the litany on page 288. I invite you to rise. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us. 
Spare us, good Lord. Be gracious to us. Help us, good Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crass assaults of the devil, from the sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Help us, good Lord. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment. Help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you. To hear us, O Lord. To rule and govern your holy Christian church. To preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word. And to sustain them in holy living. To put an end to all schisms and causes of offense. To bring into the way of truth all who have erred in our seed. To beat down Satan under our feet. To send faithful laborers into your harvest. And to accompany your word with your grace and spirit. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you, Lord. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. <clears throat> to give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our Queen and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people. To watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation. To protect and guide all who travel. To grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings. To defend all orphans and widows and provide for them. To strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children. To free those in bondage and to have mercy on us all. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts, to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth, and graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. We implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be heaven. thy name. Thy Amen. kingdom come, thy Amen. will be done on earth Amen. as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.